Metal prep is important to make sure that you remove all the contaminants that are gonna possibly contaminate your weld, creating a weak, porous, or brittle weld. So from mill scale, rust, paint, anything that could potentially contaminate your weld, you need to get it removed. We're gonna go ahead and show you a couple examples here. We got a piece of quarter inch here that has some mill scale on it. It's just how when metal is processed, it automatically forms that scale, but in order to achieve good welding penetration, you know, you do need to remove the mill scale on even new steel. And if you're repairing or working on older or used parts, you know, removing paint and rust, you got several examples of how you can remove that. You know, the most basic wire brush, wire wheel with the drill. Uh, this is a rust buster wheel that I have on this grinder. And also you can use, uh, you know, 36 grit, 50 grit grinding disc. This is a roll lock disc to remove paint, rust, and scale from your welding areas. Before starting, always important, wear your safety glasses. Cover your hands and make sure that you have good control of your grinder, anything that could potentially injure you, you know, make sure you're covering yourself and giving yourself a sacrificial layer. Right here is a piece of quarter inch and we're just gonna remove the mill scale. So this is clean bare metal. This is the mill scale. You get the idea. And this is just an old used piece from an air cleaner, but you can see rust, paint, that's not a good surface to weld to. So simple. Again, clean, ready for welding. Surface considerations for cleaning your metal. If it's oily or greasy, go ahead and use a solvent like lacquer thinner to remove them before trying to grind it. In other words, all you're gonna do is smear around the oil and then you're just gonna end up with contaminated weld. So a fast drying solvent like lacquer thinner works best. Remove the oil and grease, then go ahead and grind your metal then fitment is key whether you're doing a butt weld or a t-joint or a fillet weld making sure you have good fit is key before you start welding 